a square of anything that I know of. You're all smirking. You're laughing at me. Why are you laughing at me? I, I tried. This is my, the best I could do with, with what I was given. What was I given? Well, the inductive hypothesis, assume Sn is a square, some square. But that wasn't, it's not really strong enough to help me here. What could I do? I can strengthen something. It's not strong induction, but it, it is specifically strong induction. But what could I, what could I do, David? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Notice that the problem was I had too weak an inductive hypothesis. It's too weak. Too weak to give me what I want, because this is um, a bunch of question marks in a row, right? And a period after that, even. Look at that. <laughs> wow. OK. Hmm. Too weak. But David says, hey, I can strengthen my inductive claim. Now, it better be true, whatever I strengthen it to, right? So assume Sn is a square. What would you like to strengthen the claim to? Yeah. Is that true? Is it, is it true? Do you want to just check? Is it true for one still? Yeah. And you can check a few other cases to begin to see that it might be true for more than just one. But OK, and once you have that, let's strengthen. We're going to strengthen the, 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 the and this is often a, a very key uh, technique with induction, is sometimes you have to prove something more. And that allows you to, uh, to do more because you have a stronger inductive hypothesis. This is what's amazing. Let's strengthen this to the claim, strengthen claim. The claim is uh, it, that it, it's actually Sn equals n squared. And now notice what happens here. This would change to what? n squared. And now is this a perfect square? Excellent. n plus 1 squared, which I will now remind the reader, is a square <laughs> as desired. Everybody happy with that? OK. That's a key technique. Strengthen the induction sometimes if you need to. Okay. Hey, I like that. That's great. Let's see what else we can prove with induction. We can prove all sorts of cool things. Chess boards, natural number claims. Um, let's prove the following claim. Theorem. Uh, all natural numbers uh, are even. All natural numbers are even. Hmm, OK, let's see. We can prove anything by induction. <laughs> Proof by induction on n. What's n? Oh, I haven't even said what n is. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll prove anything by <laughs> asserting. Um, I'll tell you what n is. Let's suppose um, n is the number we're trying to show is even. Right, so maybe the way to s restate this is every natural number n is even. So I'm going to restate this uh, any natural number n is even. There. Now we have an n that we're talking about. Okay. Happy? Okay, here we go. Proof. I'm going to use strong induction if you don't mind. Need something strong to prove this statement. Here we go. Um, let's assume all uh, numbers less than or equal to n are even. That's by strong induction. OK. Um, I'm going to do the inductive step, if you don't mind. <laughs> Uh, base case is kind of trivial. It's irrelevant. You don't, don't need to do it. <laughs> um, notice that if you give me a number n, so I assume all numbers less than, maybe let, let, let's make this uh, yeah, less than or equal to n or even. So let's look at n plus 1. 
Well, let's see. I claim n plus 1 is n minus 1 plus 2. Hmm, OK. And by the inductive hypothesis, n minus 1 is even. So n plus 1 is the sum of two even numbers. Nice. <laughs> As desired. End of proof. What do you think? Is she proud of me? Oh, uh, yes. Hmm. What you, what's wrong with this proof? <laughs> Jenny. Don't have a base case. Yes. OK. So, is, so, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the inductive step. Would you agree? You can do a lot if you never get this thing off the ground. It, certainly lots of implications like this could be true. But the, the key point is you'll have a problem, won't you? Um, uh, here, there's no base case. So this is obviously flawed. No. Um, the base case, the problem is the base case doesn't hold. Right? Hmm. You know, what is interesting, however, is that this proof actually well worked to show that all even numbers are even. Right? Right, you start with a base case of 2, and what it does is it shows that it doesn't do this particular implication. It shows that if k is even, then k plus 2 is even. That's really what we've done, isn't it? Right? Okay. So really, this, the, the flaw of this proof is, the f is basically in uh, not showing the base case. Happy with that? Hmm, okay. Let's... Uh, 